Hi everyone, Holly here from Jared Al Heating and Cooling. Customers often ask me what is the difference between evaporative and reverse cycle air conditioning. So in this video, I'll give you a bit of an overview of the difference between them and explain some of the main differences to help you select the best system for your home. First, let's take a look at evaporative cooling. A ducted evaporative cooling system includes a rooftop unit, like the one behind me here, and ducting that is connected to the system then pushes air throughout the home via ceiling vents. Evaporative cooling is particularly suited to hot, dry climates with a low humidity. When conditions are optimal, a good evaporative system should be able to reduce the temperature in your home by up to 10 degrees but this really depends on the level of humidity outside. This is because an evaporative cooler works by drawing hot external air over the wet pads in the rooftop unit. This humidified cool air is then distributed in your home and warm air is pushed out through the open doors and windows. To ensure a continuous cool flow of air, it is important to have your windows and doors partially open while the evaporative system is operating. One of the key advantages of evaporative cooling is that the system is always drawing new air from outside to be cooled and pushed down into the home. As long as external air conditions are optimal, this allows for a continuous flow of fresh cool air. Evaporative cooling is also cheaper to purchase and has lower operating costs compared to reverse cycle. In fact, you could expect to pay up to 50% less to run an efficient evaporative cooling system. The downside of evaporative cooling is that although they are cheaper to run, external conditions are a key factor in how well the system operates. On hot, humid summer days, your evaporative system will still reduce the indoor temperature, but may struggle to keep the temperature at an optimal level. It's also important to note that evaporative systems only offer cooling. You will also require a separate source of heating for your home, such as a gas log fire or one of our wood fires. Now, let's compare this to reverse cycle air conditioning. Reverse cycle air conditioning systems include an outdoor unit, an indoor unit, and a thermostat located in the return air grill to measure the temperature of the home. Ducted systems also include ducting located inside the roof space and ceiling vents. A reverse cycle system works via a compressor in the outdoor unit that pumps refrigerant to an indoor coil and either warms the coil up or cools it down depending on if the system is in heating or cooling mode. As the fan draws the air in through the return air grill, it is filtered, drawn into the unit through the coil, and then distributed throughout the outlets into your home. Once the system reaches desired temperature, the compressor will automatically slow down systems and increase them as needed to continuously maintain the desired temperature. This allows a reverse cycle system to offer a consistent temperature, independent of ambient conditions, and is a key advantage of reverse cycle air conditioning. Because of this precision temperature control, reverse cycle systems can also be zoned. This means different rooms can be set to different airflow levels at the same time to suit the preferences of the occupants in each room. Another important advantage is the ability of reverse cycle to offer both heating and cooling modes, meaning you can rely on the one system for year round comfort. However, Unlike evaporative cooling, reverse cycle air conditioning does require that all doors and windows are closed for the optimal performance of the system. This is because once the air is drawn in, it is continuously recirculated throughout the system in order to maintain the same temperature. The cost of reverse cycle is another consideration. A ducted reverse cycle system is more expensive than a ducted evaporative system, both to purchase and to operate. In summary, the important takeaways from today's video are this. Both ducted evaporative cooling and ducted reverse cycle will cool your entire home, but only reverse cycle offers heating as well. Evaporative cooling works well in hot and dry climates, but is not as effective when it is humid. This is because the system works by increasing humidity in your home via a process of water evaporation. Reverse cycle air conditioning reaches the desired indoor temperature regardless of external conditions, but is more expensive to purchase and to run. If you already have an excellent source of heating in your home and you are looking for an economical cooling option that offers adequate cooling in most conditions, then you may wish to consider an evaporative cooling system. Evaporative cooling is also ideal if you're sensitive to pollens, dust or other allergens as it is providing a continuous flow of fresh air into your home. If you need a system that offers the flexibility of both heating and cooling 
and you want to control the internal temperature more precisely, then reverse cycle air conditioning is an excellent option for you. For more information about reverse cycle and evaporative cooling options, call into Jared Heating and Cooling during showroom hours or visit us online at jhc.com.au.